Hello YouTube, the nerd named Danny here, and today I bring you my first tutorial for VisualBasic.net, and today I will be showing you how to create a simple, um, stopwatch, or a count up timer. So basically what you're going to need is you're going to need Visual Studio 2010 or Visual Basic 2010 Express. The download link will be in the description. After you have that downloaded and installed, go ahead and open it, and then click on New Project. In there, make sure it's set to Windows Form Application, and then go ahead and give it a name. For me, I'm just going to name it Stopwatch, because that's what we're making. Then go ahead and click OK. It'll open up a brand new form, which is basically what our application will look like. So first, let's just make it look a little bit more visually appealing. So, to start out, I don't really like that little icon in the top corner. So go ahead and scroll to Show Icon and set that to False. Then also, where it says Form 1, let's just rename that to Stopwatch. And there we go. Then you can resize your form to whatever you'd like, just to make it appealing for you. And then we need to add our components. First, we're going to need our label. So go ahead and drag the label on. Now that's a bit tiny, so we're going to adjust the font. Go ahead and make sure the label is selected. And over here, scroll up to Font. Go ahead and click it, and then click on the dot, dot, dot. And then go ahead and make the font look like whatever you want. There we go. Then we're also going to need two buttons. We're going to need a button over here. And another button, let's say, over here. Click on button 1, and scroll down to the bottom, and change the text attribute to call that start. Go to the second button and change the text attribute to stop. After we've got all that done, go ahead and double click on the start button to open up the code for it. And here's where we begin coding. Now before we can begin coding, we have to have a timer, which I forgot. So go ahead and go to the toolbox and add a timer control. Go ahead and click on your new timer down here and change the interval to 1000. Or every second. Now go back into our code and under button 1 click we're gonna need to start the code. So after we've clicked button 1 then we need to disable it so go button 1 dot enabled equals false to prevent people from clicking it again. Then we need to enable our other stop button so that people can click it. So go ahead and go button 2 dot enabled equals true. Now, by default, button 2 is enabled, so we need to click on but er, our button 2, which is our stop button, and scroll up to the enabled attribute and set that to false, so that when people first open their your form, they can't click on the stop button, because there's, of course, nothing to stop. Then go ahead and do timer1.enabled equals true to turn on our timer that's about it for button one so now for button two go ahead and double click on that and we're gonna do basically the exact opposite of what we did above we're gonna go button one dot enabled equals true button two dot enabled equals false and timer one dot enabled equals false so basically we enable our start button we disable our stop button and we stop our timer now we need to double click on our timer one when our timer one ticks each time that our timer goes up we need to go we need to tell it to to make the number on the label go up by one so do label one dot text plus equals one basically what that does is it adds one to the count of the label now right now our label doesn't have it's not a number so we need to change that so it's just a number so go ahead and click on that and change the text value to zero also when we click on button one I forgot about this earlier but we need to reset the label so on button one go ahead and do label one dot text equals in quotation marks zero so let's test our form. It should be, oops, I don't know what I did right there. 
should be done. So go ahead and go into the design and click on the start debugging button, the little play icon up there. And here we go, here's our stopwatch. If we click on start, here it goes. One, two, three, and that'll count forever. So go ahead and click stop, and there you go, it stops, start, and it starts over. And there you go, you've successfully made your very first Visual Basic.net program. Have fun, and be sure to check out my other Visual Basic.net tutorials.